We're well into the season of Advent, but many people took this year to start celebrating Christmas a bit early. My next guest has taken that to the extreme, as his wife is a bit obsessed with the festival. He's written a song called Every Day is Christmas, and he's recorded it in typical lockdown fashion, remotely. I spoke to him earlier this month, and he told me how he got into the music industry. I used to live in the UK, and when I was younger, I played in bands and things, and then gave it all up and decided to take a, a different turn. Ended up eventually Germany and then in the States. I retired from Detroit and live in Florida, but I'm working my way back to, to Europe again now. I'm actually in Spain at the moment, and uh, I spend time, obviously, in Manchester, where I do a lot of the recordings now in the studio there. Sort of gone full circle, really. Didn't quite make Australia, but sort of did a circle and coming back again. So were you meant to be on a world tour? <laughs> yes, I think you could say it was a world tour. It's certainly been a world tour of recording different uh, countries. You know, my songs I've been writing over the last few years, yes. Tell us about your latest single, please, the Christmas one, Every Day is Christmas. Well, last year, I got a ukulele just for fun. I took it back to Germany. We flew back from Florida to Germany, and I'd learned to play it a bit. And I've been speaking to Mike about going into the studio again in uh, Manchester and said I've got a couple of new songs, and I promised myself I'd do another Christmas song this year. The first thought I have was my wife always has the Christmas tree up and all the decorations all the time. It's... Uh, it's just one of her things. She won't take them down. Once they're up, they stay up. It drives me nuts, but it's quite nice, really. People come round the house and it's a talking point. So I then thought to myself, well, I could introduce every day as Christmas when I'm with you because that's what it is. And then I thought about all the things that are going on in the world at the moment with COVID and things. So I decided to write a song around the two things. Basically, we end up with... Um, Every day is Christmas for my wife, but at the same time this year, we're going to be celebrating for a lot of different reasons. It's a hard year for all of us, but it's also a time to remember all of the good people and all of the good things that have affected our lives and raise our glass to them, which we typically do at Christmas time.
say you've been around various countries in the last year or so. What's yeah. it been like with lockdown? Well, America didn't really seem to care, to be honest. I mean, they said there was lockdown, but in Florida, you could go anywhere. Masks you had to wear in shops, but people ignored it. I don't think they've done a very good job there. In Germany, they're quite strong about it, but I could see there was a, a relaxing. And in Spain here, they've been quite strict. Where I am now, it's a village. You can go out, but the police are around all the time enforcing it. I think it's quite strict here, but because it's been stricter and people have obeyed the rules, there's a bit more flexibility in terms of restaurants and bars still being open. You're not allowed the same capacity, but you are allowed to go in and they do allow you to sit around without masks on. I think for that respect, Spain is probably at the moment the best place to be. I'm sure there's others, but you know, New Zealand's supposed to be good in yeah. Australia. But yeah. In Europe, I'm talking about, I think. Let's go back in time, because you've been making music for a while. I want you to tell me about the track, When We Were Young, please. Ah, OK. You've been listening. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, When We Were Young actually was going back to when I was young. And it was a time when we all had people we liked and wanted to be with, but we were big, big men and we got other things we wanted to do. And the same for the girls as well. And when you get a little bit older, you start to reflect on the lives when you were young and the things that you did. And often you sometimes regret some of the decisions you made when you were young, but you can't go back. I mean, it's, it's gone. So that's the elements in the song were to try and look at the past and sit down here now and think where we are and things we could have done when we were young, but we didn't. And now we say, oh, we wish we'd have done that. But life unfolds always totally differently as the years go by. Listening to that, it reminded me very much of another artist. I, I don't know if anybody suggested this to you. And don't take offence. That's not why I'm saying oh, no, it. Sure. But uh, if I were you, I'd send Eric Clapton a copy of that and have him record it. <laughs> OK, I'll do that. No, I will do that. I'll, I'll say that you suggested it. <laughs> and he'll say, who? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it sounds so much like a Clapton song, and that's what I love about it. Oh, thanks very much for that. No, I'll send it. That, that's a, a compliment, for sure it is, yes. The important thing about music is I'm writing it. it. It's about things that have happened in my life or I've seen happen to other people. There's always events that give you the opportunity to write. But it's no good just writing it and playing it to yourself all day. You want people to listen to your music because that's the important thing. It's not about so much about being famous yourself. It's not about making a fortune. Who can make a fortune with this? But it's about your experiences, getting it out there and people having the opportunity to listen and relate to things that they otherwise wouldn't do. You know, when you hear something in a song, sometimes you say, oh, that was me or yeah, I've done that. So for me, I think I just want to get the music out there that I've written. How does the future look for you? This single is very nice. We're going to play it. It is the right time to have a Christmas song out because everybody's playing Christmas songs. But you're up against Slade and Mud and all these kinds of people. Not on this radio station, I'm at. I, not on this show. <laughs> <laughs> but how's the future looking for you? I'm going to see uh, Mike again. Uh, can I make a plug HQ Studios in Manchester? Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm going back to see him again as soon as I can because we've been working on another couple of songs that I sent him. And by the way, the process that I use is, I, I sort of work these songs out on the guitar or the ukulele as it happened this year. I lay down the track, write a script, send it to him. Then we discuss it. He normally puts his thoughts on it and we discuss it again. Then we get the backing track ready. And then I go over there. Then I lay down the vocals then we start adding other instruments. So that's how we do it. And he's got three in there at the moment that uh, we're working on. And also I've written something totally different. Uh, it's a, a dance song that I'm just finishing now, a more a bit electronic. I mean, when you write, you can try anything, right? Yeah. And, and when you've got great musicians, I really have got a, a pool of musicians in Manchester to pull from. You can create anything you want. I, I think it's great, the good singers as well.
Good backing singers. Very good. Well, when you come to Manchester, if all this situation is resolved, maybe you can come into the studio and uh, we can have a much longer chat. When you say you're making a dance tune, is it going to be like New Order or, or who? I wouldn't say it's New Order, but it's... It's hard to explain. I'll send it to you. Okay. Have a listen. I'll have a listen. Uh, and, uh, it's very hard, you know. I, Eric Clapton's a good thing that you gave me today, but I, I try very hard to see what I sound like because when you advertise yourself, people like to hear what it, mm. it, you know, put it on the genre that sits with the singer. And sometimes I find it hard to do that, but... Uh, I'll send this to you. Maybe you can tell me what you think. Okay. Listen, Graham, can I wish you all the very best with the single? It's out now. It's called Every Day is Christmas. And the other track, When We Were Young, is also out there on Spotify at the moment. And I love that track, I have to tell you. Absolutely brilliant. Look forward to receiving the dance item that you mentioned. Thanks very much indeed for taking time to be with us and all the very best for the future. Yeah, and thank you so much and look forward to seeing you in the new year when all this craziness is over. That's the sound of Graham Thompson, who I was speaking to earlier this month. Much thanks to him for taking the time to be with us. Next.